Hello, good morning and good afternoon and even good evening. Today I'm going to talk about the advertisements. It is in BVS first year. And what is advertisement? Why advertisement is needed? Why people talk about advertisement? And what may be the reason that advertisements are applied in day-to-day -day life? These set of ideas are presented there. So advertisements are the promotional activities of any organization, of any, let's say, companies. So advertisements do, do have certain features, certain uh, basic elements and even effective elements effective advertisements may be different from other types of elements right okay let's talk about advertisements then today advertisements are different from news reports feature stories and press releases so news reports feature stories and press releases cannot be matched with the ideas of advertisement because advertisements are promotional sales materials they are not only just story giving some sort of ideas just like reports or presenting stories or, or the press releases of the company of the organizations right in today's economy advertisements are everywhere that means without advertisement no business can run today so this is the ease this is the era of advertisement on newspaper and magazine pages on television on billboards the internet and the radio these are the sources of having an advertisement right so advertisement is found everywhere in present world means advertisements are given in newspaper advertisements are given in magazine pages advertisements are given there on televisions advertisements are given their billboards advertisements are found in net internet advertisements are found in radio advertisements are found in hoarding boards and number of other media let's say uh, this mass media it has become the source of entertainment uh, advertisement blogs there are blogs youtubes and other number of ideas so advertisements are especially promotional sales materials for the company for the organizations right the objective of advertisement is to attract people to uh, to, pro, to a product or services right if it is about the services if it is about the product of any company and advertisement is mainly to attract the people mainly to attract the customers mainly to attract the consumers right so advertisements must must reach to the heart of the consumers heart of the customers heart of the people and buyers and then they can come to buy the products of any organization or even the service of the organization it can be only this okay product advertisements try to convince to the audience to buy something it is a persuasive one advertisements become persuasive one and it tries to exactly convince the consumers tries to convince the persuade the buyers to buy something else so advertisements are persuasive in their language language must be persuasive one language must be attractive one language must be quite simple direct direct and then understandable for the consumers so language of the advertisement should be up to the level of the consumers it must not be standard it must not be quite for those upper class people or intellectual people only right try and they try to appeal to the audience interest and values advertisements try to appeal the audience interest and the values of them so they can come to buy the goods or services in the company in the organization according to their needs through the help of the advertisements if advertisements are appealing if they are persuasive if they are convincing convincing if they are able to fulfill the need of the consumers and naturally people come to buy those sort of things in the organizations in the uh, any companies right all the advertisements share some fundamentals there are fundamental ideas of advertisements searing advertisements 
the fundamental common features should be taken into consideration while writing any advertisement right so basic fundamental elements of advertisements are given here right the following basic elements are given in all advertis advertisements and making communications right first element is first element or the basic element is about headline right headline is the hooking for the readers attention and encourage them to read on means if there is a headline right that headline must be hooking almost capturing giving getting a cadence attention of the readers attention consumers attentions and let them read let them encourage them to read on even if they do not want to read it let them read it through the headlines that headline must be attractive enough that must be appreciative enough that must be catchy that must be hooking that is readers attention that is why headline is the first and the most important basic element of advertisements right readers need to identify with the headline right through the headline readers find out what the advertisement is given why advertisement had come what may be the main purpose of the advertisement that is why advertisement uh, the title that head headline becomes the most important thing the headline may be followed by a sub head there must be sub heads it can be divided into sub heads that means extension of the headline and should encourage the consumer to read on them through the sub headings through other headings other ideas the consumers must be encouraged must be attracted must be appealed to read the headlines of the advertisement exactly they do not read they do not want to read but if the headline is quite catchy appealing and naturally the consumers want to read the total concept of the advertisement another basic element is image graphics and figures there must be good images there must be good graphics photographs and pictures figures right in the advertisement a picture or image is optional maybe it is optional we cannot put those pictures or images but they help they become helpful for visual product like cars fashion real estate or tourism if the car is to be sold if the advertisement of car is to be given then the object that visual image of car photograph of photographs of the car must be given and the, if it is to sold the land and the real estate and that photograph that image must be there and if it is about fashion that must come there in the advertisement if it is about tourism and the scene and site of the tourism must come there especially for the advertisement sketches and artistic figures or graphics are also effective there must be sketches that can be effective one for the advertisement pictures tell a thousand words this is the idea if it is to explain in thousand words only one can one picture can tell thousand words meanings that carry out that's why it is necessary to present the pictures rather than explaining it because pictures give the concrete message and the words only can give the abstract ideas and people may not understand what the advertisement is talking about the consumers must be clear about the idea about the advertisement through the picture right it is to save the space and use picture in the advertisement even if space is to be saved and picture also must be used in the advertisement within the limitation of the space another basic element of advertisement is features and benefits what are the benefit of the organization of the goods of the products of the goods or the service that must be said so it is the customers can buy the goods only if it is quite beneficial it is the body copy to convince the consumers and it must be listed by sellable aspects of the products if sellable aspects of the products are listed there if they are presented there and it naturally just becomes appealing and it is necessary to tell about the benefits and some of the features to the customers about the product products another basic basic element is testimonials right testimonials means proof and it is to include quotes 
some of the people's famous okay, my, uh, proverbs must be quoted there in the advertisement or to bring the celebrities in favor of the product to convince the customers about the quality of the product and to entice means just to encourage them appeal them to buy it sometimes people use or bring the celebrities to convey the ideas of the advertisement advertisement celebrities themselves become the source of advertisement and if the celebrities come and tell some sort of ideas and to the consumers naturally consumers buyers try to get attraction towards the testimonials towards the ideas presented by the testimonials or the celebrities another aspect of the basic element is guarantee and it is to find the effective way to relay guarantee information guarantee also should be given there to the customers it also helps to attract the customers to give attention towards the advertisement it is to think about how we can minimize the risk for the buyer to make the decision to buy the product or the service so consumers or the uh, audience or the buyers must feel there is a less risk there is guarantee so if the goods gets damaged damage then they get almost the replacement of it that sort of concept must be given to the consumers to the buyers so guarantee is another element of the advertisement now the offer also must be given them offer is essential to make some off uh, offer it is essential to make some offer giving them the reason to choose the competitors competitors there are many competitors among the competitors what the offer is being given that is also essential to give to the customers to the consumers to the buyers and then only they come if there is a given offer naturally the crowd of the people come to buy the goods are uh, given in offer and offer also should be with, kept within the limitation and people come to buy this is one another way of selling the goods in the uh, process uh, through the process of advertisement it is to convince them to give them a better products and must be included in promotion to discounts and on discounts and other incentives these ideas discounts incentives and other offers must be mentioned there and it must be convinced to the consumers that the products or the services given by the organizations and organizations or the companies are better than the products and goods of other organizations other companies right and then only the customers come consumers come and consumers get attraction towards the object what the uh, what we are just brought we have brought in the advertisement last uh, element or basic element of advertisement is call to an action and people must be invited in action to buy the goods it is to include information clearly what the consumer can do to benefit from product it is to be mentioned what product get okay what sort of benefit what sort of better concept to the consumers and clear information should be given to the consumers about the benefit of the project product it is to tell them about the deadlines or expiry dates if deadline is given and then they become conscious about it expiry dates must be given there it is to ask them to call to come in action and give them your web address and even contract address the person who is going to sell the goods or services the person must give the web address must give the other contract address email address mobile number even landline number and other source of this information to have the connection with the seller of the goods otherwise the customers do not come customers get confused where to contact whom to contact how to get the contact with the who is the reliable person these sort of things must be clearly mentioned in the call to action especially to the consumers and the customers right buyers of the goods last point effective advertisements what may be the effective advertisements how we can make it effective advertisements yes many advertisements are not effective because the key message is lost in the jumble of words key message must be clearly mentioned main point must be clearly mentioned if the key message is not given there and number of words jumble of words are brought there 
what happens main concept main idea key message cannot be found out by the consumers by the buyers and heavy loaded a load of images must not be put there because of this heavy load of images and jumble of words key message main message central message what the advertisement exactly want to wants to wants to give may be lost so consumers and the buyers and the customers and the audience and naturally get confused and they the meaning of advertisement does not become advertisement does not become effective one so jumble words must be avoided and then overloaded images must be avoided and the key message must be given in a clear point only key points must be written in concise form only key point unnecessary detail explanation that is not necessary to be given for the consumers to give the clear effective message through the advertisement and design professionals are to be uh, chosen what sort of professionals are there to design the certain things about the advertisement and need to choose even the appropriate colors of the advertisement if the color is not good enough if the color is not attractive enough and the consumers do not get just appeal towards the advertisement so advertisement should not be only for advertisement for the sake of advertisement it must have a function it must work some sort it must bring some sort of results for the organizations and the companies that's why advertisement must be effective one for effective advertisement and key points should be there included and jumble of words should be avoided heavy loaded images must be avoided what the message exactly the advertisement wants to give that must be given directly to the uh, customers so that an appropriate callers also must be selected and that gets a kind of appeal to the customers or the consumers and the buyers it is to use simple language language must not be heavy loaded must not be complicated one must not be flowery language must not be the language of literature it must be direct language it must be clear language it must be quite easy to understand for the first consumers because the buyers are not intellectual all the time buyers are not always of upper class and learned people sometimes common people who are not well educated to understand even the language and its meaning can become the customers of the goods and then it must be very clear enough to understand them and there must be making no errors of grammar or facts no mistakes no grammatical mistakes should be there if the grammatical mistakes are made through the uh, advertisement people do not trust because grammatical mistakes and the use of facts in a wrong manner may lose the confidence may lose the uh, trust to the goods of advertised goods that's why the errors must be clearly avoided facts must not be changed it must be appropriate must be praiseworthy must be accurate one must be trustworthy and then only the uh, advertisement becomes effective one these are some of the ideas whatever i have brought in the uh, slides that can be useful for the readers and then okay, for those business people also, also how to advertise and whatever I, I have just spoken and explained that can be used in the detailed information of the action of doing advertisement this is some of the ideas that i have brought in the concept of advertisement maybe this is good enough thank you you can read it and enjoy it